Hello ladies and gents, today we're going to tie a mouse pattern. These little mice are an awesome pattern for late summer evenings. Brown, grey, quite small. They catch a lot of trout in the rivers for me. So <clears throat> I've done a mouse the other week. I'm going to run through this style this time. These ones swim great, hook great. Just a completely different style again. They're pretty cool. They catch quite a few big trout for me throughout the season. So I started with these are TP six tens trout predator one O's from RX. I put some super glue in the hook. Ran some one hundred GSP down to the hook bend. And I've just got natural rabbit zonker here. So I've stripped four or five mil of the of the skin of fur and I'm gonna catch it in on top of the hook. Run your thread forward and back, tie it in nice, two round the back to give it a kick up. So when I'm cutting the length of this, I cut I like my tail double the length of the hook. There's one, there's two. Put your scissors in and then I'm going to strip most of this off. What it does is if you strip most of this but leave half an inch of fur on the end, it catches a wee bit of water and it gives it a whole better swimming action. <clears throat> I'm going to bring my thread back to the middle of the hook. And I'm going to get three booby eyes. Doesn't matter which colour. But we want this to tie this in. So there's about six mil of the hook eye left. Six mil of shank before the hook eye. Just trim to length. And you're going to catch in two booby eyes side by side right on top of the hook shank touching the tail just a couple of loose wraps around the middle tie forward tightening down which makes a taper with the foam at the front and come back soft then attach it in at the back and all this does it makes a taper front and back but it keeps the ear in the foam Give it buoyancy. Bring your thread to the middle, one right on top again. Exact same process, attach it down a bit. Bring it back, catch it at the back. And bring your thread to the tail. Now, so you've got there all your foams on top of the hook. So you've got a um, you're not obstructing the hooking of it. Now, I'm going to get some more zonker. I'm going to have it so the fur is pointing down the way. Strip a few more off the end again. And tie it on skin side facing you. Scratch it down. And bring your thread right to the front of the foam. That's super glue. And then you're going to palmer this zonker strip up the hook shank. Touch and turns. Make sure you don't catch any of the fur. Just stroke it all back as you wind it. Right, just cover the foam, and as soon as you drop off the foam, cat, catch it in and tie it off. When I'm catching it in, I do one over, and I do a couple of wraps going forward, then I fold it all back and tie over everything. And that there won't come out. Turn it off. Turn off. 
I'm going to change thread, so I'm just going to do a wet finish. I'm going to give it a good comb. I like to just do a wee haircut in the bottom, just enough to take half of half of it off, but not down to the skin. Right, thread change. I'm now on to Vivus 200 denier GSP. I, I do most of my deer hair work with this. Main reason is one, it doesn't break, and two, when you pull the thread tight, it stays flat and it won't cut the hair. So, bottom of the head, white belly hair. I'm going to use about a pencil thickness of it. Cut it off right against the skin. Get rid of all the long bits. Get rid of all the short bits. And then we're going to tie it in so the points are about in line with the barb of the hook. So what I do, a couple of loose wraps. Put your fingers underneath it, pull it tight, wiggle it through to the front, uh, sorry, the front, wiggle your thread through to the bottom. If you have spun round the body, get it with a little trim, so the top of the hoop shank is clear. Right, the top, I'm going to use natural deer hair, this is called a primo strip. I'm going to use about a pencil thickness and a half of this. When I say a pencil thickness and a half, that is about pencil thickness and a half, maybe two pencil thicknesses. Same again, get rid of all the under fluff. And then same length as in the bottom. Just a few loose wraps, wiggling it through. Pull it tight. Now, now you've got to find your eye, your hook. So, to do that, use one of these. This is a fugly packer from Pat Cohen. It's got a little groove in the in, in here. And it when you can you catch it on the shank of your hook and then push everyone back. So bring your thread through. Oh. Find the eye of your hook. And a little compression. A little trick here is get a, a bag, like a plastic bag, cut a square out of it. square out the bag right then cut a slot to the center slide that on your thread keeping the slot level push it over your hook eye what pack with these And twist it, and it should, in theory, go over the hook eye. And it should hold all your the hair back, in theory. Not pulling ball this time.
Bingo. Now give it a wet finish. Right. Now you're happy with that. I'm just going to get rid of some of this. Oh, wrong size. Right, need a razor blade. So. There's just two sided rails. I'm going to start trimming the bottom. What I'm doing is I'm trying to find the eye of my hook. Just trim it gently. And work about around the sides. Bit off the top. Just get in your shape. Just be patient. Then round the corners. Right, once you've got a rough shape, I use a, this is a cauterizing tool, just to clear the eye. Then continue the trimming. I want the, the, the bottom nice and flat. Well, the, sh the shape of your hair depends how you want it to swim. It's a good thing with deer hair. You can shape it different ways so it reacts different in the water. So, just about there. Just take your time, you can always take more off, you can't put more on once you trim it too far. Right, so you got your shape of your mouse. I'm going to put a bit of resin in the bottom. This is the fine resin. Deer Creek, it's soaked right in. Put a lot of water spread about and it just soaks in. So if you put more on, you want the bottom to be nice and covered. Give it a blast.
Right. Now, you don't have to put ears or eyes on these. My mice are fish and flies, so I don't bother with ears. Um, but if it gives you more confidence, you can stick ears on. Best way to do it is just cut them out of foam. Um, I'm not going to bother. I do like eyes. So I'm just going to use the five mil eyes. This is not um, for the fish, it's just for yourself. It's um, if you're not confident with flying your box, you won't fish it. So I stick eyes on because I like eyes. So. It's a bit of glue on. This glue I'm using is just a flexible Loctite. Never a problem with sticking anything. So it's a cheap product and it works. So there's a mouse. Simple little mouse. Not, not a big mouse. Works perfect every time. And they just catch fish. Try one yourself.